Welcome back to the adventure. Today we are repairing the Windows Update feature in Small Business Server 2011. Server versions of Windows can be a little bit different than their desktop counterparts. If we go to Windows Update, it tells us that the system is up to date. The reason for this is the Windows Server Update services are not able to sync with Microsoft servers. To get started, we need to install Service Pack 1 if it's not already. Small Business Server 2011 is treated as Server 2008 R2. This is important when searching the Microsoft Update Catalog for the updates we need. The Service Pack 1 installation took a couple hours to complete. Grab a coffee, make a sandwich, or move on to some other task and come back later. Unless you like to watch paint dry or grass grow, no judgment. The people that paint football fields have the unique opportunity of doing both at the same time, multitasking at its finest. Next, we need to install the servicing stack update from 2019, which is the component that installs Windows updates. This also updates key underlying components for several elements of Windows deployment, such as DISM, system file checker, changing Windows features or roles, and repairing components. Most updates will require a restart. As you may have already experienced, restarts on server versions of Windows can take some time. When ready, we can proceed with installing the convenience rollup, which contains updates between February of 2011 and May of 2016. This is useful for clean installs of Small Business Server 2011. The alternative is to install all of those updates individually. From here, we want to install the Windows Update Agent version 7.6, which does the heavy lifting by determining the security updates that have not been installed, searches for available updates, and downloads the updates from Microsoft's update servers. From here, we will need to install the SHA2 code signing support update so we can fetch updates from the Windows Update server. The secure hash algorithm one was developed as an irreversible hashing function that is widely used as part of code signing. Unfortunately, the security of SHA1 hash algorithm has become less secure over time. Because of the weakness found in the algorithm, increased processor performance, and the advent of cloud computing, str stronger alternatives such as the Secure Hash Algorithm 2 are now strongly preferred, as they do not experience the same issue. Next up, we need to install the Microsoft C++ redistributable. Using the all-in-one tool makes things easy, so that's the approach I will take. What we get is a compressed file that contains the individual installer packages for the different versions of the C++ redistributable. We can extract that to a new folder on the desktop, then run install.bat. Click yes at each of the user account control prompts. Once done, we can fetch the Windows Update mini tool. Version 22 will work. Extract the contents of the compressed file and run the tool. Under search settings, switch to Windows Update, then start the check for updates. The check can take a very long time to complete. One time warp later, and there we are. Many updates available to download and install. That is how to repair the Windows Update feature in Small Business Server 2011. Thanks for stopping by. See you next video.